Hey guys, welcome back to Tara's Take Family. If it's your first time, welcome. So today we're going to play with some envelopes and I want to make some little uh, pockets. I saw someone doing these the other day and it just made me want to play with envelopes. So I thought, okay, we'll do it. So we're going to do these little flips. That's what she was doing. I cannot remember. It's not someone I watch all the time. I'd have to go back and look through my history and see if she's still in there. <clears throat> but what I'm doing is picking out some window envelopes here and I'm cutting them down to approximately six inches or so. Um, and we're going to be, I'm just putting the extras over here to the side. I'll use them somewhere else. Maybe use them as little pockets as well. But I'm going to do a few, I think. Yeah, if this is enough, three is enough because, you know, I'm going to be... I'm going to be, uh, instead of using any, um, this is part of my, I say part, it's the only part I have in a bag, part of my junk mail envelope collection. <laughs> it's a lot. I have another, I have a drawer full, actually. Um, yeah, so I was going to do this as a design team project for Tina. Since it's still March, I'm going to jump in here with her wonderful Easter papers. And I thought that these would be fun to cover and make some uh, something beautiful, which is so easy to do with all these papers. I love them. Even though I didn't do a spring or Easter journal, so maybe I will give little, uh, I don't know, little treats inside of these as a gift to people at church. You know, I could do something like that. So I'm just going to, what we're going to do is we're going to have this, um, it's going to be glued, but we're going to put a piece of paper on here and make this a hinged pocket so that it can go into and be flipped. Okay. So that's what we're going to aim to do. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these wonderful papers and let's see, do I want to I may just go ahead and use one of these as the insert for the inside that you can see through, you know, the, the envelope window. Let's see, it's probably cut way too big, but let me look here. Maybe this one won't be. Let me see here. I may have to cut part of it off, but let us see where this lands, eh? So we'll want to bring it down pad and see if we can get that a little bit lower and maybe cut this over a little bit so that we can have this as a backdrop. Oh, I cut a little bit too much. See, I always do that. I don't know how well, I guess it's, it could be just right. Look at that. I just got to glue it in perfectly. So. Good luck on that. It's like literally right on the line there. I have just a little bit of playroom. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know what? I'm not using that glue because it'll stick it in there for good. I'm going to go ahead and use my tacky glue, which will give me a little bit of uh, flexibility here. Just clearing it, the nozzle. I haven't used it in a couple days. There we go. So, okay. Now. Go ahead and put this on the back. We want the whole back covered because this is going to be glued to the envelope. Okay. All right. Now. to get this in here. Oh, I'll get stuck. There we go. Looks about right. Okay. Got to wipe down the glue on the edges where I got some on the inside. I don't want it. I don't want it to glue shut. I want to be able to put a journal card in there. Or like I said, if I decide to put like a gift or something inside of it, 
have it, you know, maybe a candy or, you know, some candy or something inside, down inside like that. But I'll probably keep these, since I'm doing the flip thing, I'll probably keep them, you know, for the next time I do a spring journal. Um, cause I think that might work for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting pieces down to decorate. And I love this bunny. She's so pretty. So I'm going to start using pieces to collage here around this. Cause usually, you know, I've been using my, what do you call it? Um, uh, the paper and drawing, you know, and then cutting around the edge. But I don't think I want to do that today. I kind of felt like doing some, doing some, you know, collaging. Um, what did I do with my, here it is. Okay. It's right where it's supposed to be actually. So I'm just going to go around and do the edge like I do. You know how I do to make sure that there's a distressed edge on here. And since it's that plastic of the window, I can just wipe it right off. It's not a big deal if I get it on there. But mostly I want to make sure because I'm going to bring the paper out just a little bit, probably away from the edge. And I want to make sure that that is covered. And then we'll go ahead and do, this is slightly crooked. I'm going to straighten that just a little bit more. <clears throat> okay I almost went live today um I don't know why I keep I when I think about doing it I haven't let you guys know ahead of time so then I don't I don't do it because I'm worried that there won't be anybody there with me <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do these edges as well She, the lady I saw do these was much more, you know, um, I don't want to say professional, but she was much more detailed and about her instructions. I'm just kind of having some fun making some flippy pockets for my, my journal, uh, my journals. Um, but hers were done very nicely, I must say. And I'm going to go ahead and use my... Let me grab my glue book out of my drawer here. Okay. If I can get into the drawer, I will. Let's see. I'm going to move this a little bit. Okay. I just got to get to it. It's in the back. There we go. Got it. Oh, Tara. <laughs> so tight right through here. All right, now. I do like the purple. You can see what you're doing, you know? Probably should move all of my papers out of the way. down just a little bit and trim off that end there we go okay. and I'm going to set these papers off to the side here and pull from them over there because that way I'm not, um, I think I'm going to use some of this one. So maybe, my 
might need it a little skinnier than that. piece straight up. I think I'll do that edge though because that's a straight edge. There we go. Yep. Okay, so How's everybody doing today? It's uh, Wednesday. We're on hump day. For me, it's last Friday. Um, this one I'm recording this, so a little bit ahead of my game this week, which is good for me. I've been kind of slacking and doing videos the same week that they go up, which isn't like me. So I'm glad I've been behaving and getting on the ball. <laughs> I'm trying to this week get myself back in the habit of getting stuff done ahead of time. There we go. <clears throat> I don't know about right through here, this curvy part. Could probably use, I think I'll use another piece of this for this side right here. Okay. Let's go like that. Let's do the Tina. Let's do the Tina measurement here and go by the edge and then fold it over to where we need it. <laughs> it works, you know, whatever works. You don't have to get, you don't have to be difficult about this stuff, right? Let's see. Make sure I'm even there. I'm just going to trim that edge right down that don't need a big piece for right there. I actually think that's probably plenty long. Let me see. Yep, it is. So I'm just going to take what I got right there. I was looking online today and I saw, do you guys remember years ago that little boy who was known as Little Hercules? He was a boy bodybuilder. <clears throat> I had forgotten all about him and, and then he popped up on my my feed in YouTube and I was looking at him and he has, he's like 30 now and he is so normal looking. I was shocked. He just, um, I think he, it said he went into like being a, um, a, what do you call it? A stunt man and stuff, but he's not muscular at all. Like he's totally average, normal looking guy. And it's funny because they, they had him so involved. I mean, he was so involved in all of that when he was a boy and, to grow up and not stay in it was surprising. It was really surprising. He's a handsome kid, but, you know, young man. But, um, yeah, I was just really shocked when I saw him. I'm like, oh, wow. Because I, I would just assume that he had gone on to do bodybuilding. <laughs> it was his whole dream when he was a kid. So that was funny. I don't know what made me think of that. I just saw it not but a few minutes ago, and I just was like, I wonder if you guys have seen him. Have you guys seen him? You should look him up. It, he has a kind of interesting story. Okay. This one's going to have a little more of a frame on it because my folding was off just by hair, which, as you guys know, I don't really care. I didn't even bring that all the way up against the other paper, but I'm okay with that, too. These are just fun little pieces to work on with our envelopes. Okay. Now again, I'm going to have to deal with that curve whether I like it or not. Huh? 
let's see. Should we do like a book page right there maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Where's my little book? What did I do with it? Here it is. Just for fun. I wonder if... Hmm. Huh. No, probably not. I mean, this isn't shut, so I could... Oh, wait. Did it glue? Oh, I... oh no, it's good. I was going to say I could... I don't have my stuff with me. So what I could do is just kind of draw a line around this edge and indent that onto the book page. And oops, and then stop it. And then trim around that. I can see it. Okay. Gotta keep it in the light so I can see the shadow of it. Oh, there it is. I lost it for a second. Okay. Let's see. Would that work? Not, probably not, because, well, I guess if I put it like so, and then went up there like that, and here, then maybe I could trim it so that it would work. I've never tried to do something like this, so we'll see how bad an idea this was. We will see. I've got the tiniest of lines right there, so. There, now. Let me see. Oh, it worked. Yeah, it worked. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for a collaging spot on the front of an envelope. All right. <laughs> So you don't have to have, you do need a tool that's rounded and small like these, but you don't have to have it be like totally, um, or with the ink and all that, like I used the other day, like I usually use. What's it called? Carbon paper. There we go. Oopsie. Oh, folded that over. Okay. All right. Now. Let me just put this on here evenly enough. Should be good. There we go. And then I'm going to turn that down. There, now I have a little place of... Uh, I'm going to trim this just a little bit more. It's kind of hanging over the edge right here. There we go. You could actually fold it inside and let it be like a and it's a little bit, the words are a little bit crooked simply because I must have done it crooked. So. <laughs> but it's okay because it's getting distressed. It won't even really show. And then we can kind of do this edge. And like I said, just wipe our, um, wipe this off. It comes right off. Unless you're using permanent ink, of course. Then it won't. And I could do book page down here, actually, as well, if I wanted to. Let's see. Sorry, I think I tapped the phone. I apologize. Let me see here. So if I just went in, I don't know if I can make this work. Hmm. We'll see. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to make that straighter. It's going to be crooked on the bottom as well. Approximately there. Okay. 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 
Now let's see. No, because it'll be upside down, huh? That's true. I didn't think about it. You guys probably did. I did think about it as I was doing it, and then I was like doing it anyway. Here, let me do this instead. I'll trim it. I'll do it again, but on this side. Okay. So it'll be the right way up. And here we go again. Now the other side will be easy to cover because, because it's just a blank, you know, side. So I can do whatever I want on that side. It's, oh wait, did I still do it wrong? How did I still do it wrong? <laughs> guys, how do you put up with me? I'm funny. <laughs> I am silly, I guess. I'm going to do it this way instead. I don't know how I did that, but I sure did. There. We'll just, there. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> I was, I don't know, I was thinking I was doing it right, but I guess, I guess I was wrong. All right, get it up there. Oh, it's very tricky. Very tricky. Let's see if we can get these little points on there right and everything. There we go. And then we're just going to trim this bottom part off again without cutting your envelope. There. Well, I think it looks cute. And then we'll put, I have some things I cut out yesterday and I was thinking one of them might look cute there on this top part. I did some stamping on blank little, uh, little cards out of a kit I got from Tanya and I was thinking I could use one of them on here I just did these little mini stamps I have because these were all those blank pieces and I was like okay I need something on them so I used I used my stamps and voila and since it's spring and they're plants and this was from a from a botanical kit that'll work with Tina's and just look cute just fun stuff you know you know what I need I don't have it but it would be pretty if I had like a sign that said spring I have some word tags here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Might be something here. Never know. Got to look until I... It says botanicals. We don't want that. Nope. This was from her foxglove woods kit. And uh, they all say stuff like that. Let's see. And then I have Tina's words here in another part of this. Another drawer. Timeless moments. The sky is the limit. It's too big. Journal. None of these words really go, I don't think. Oh, wait, this one might look cute. Precious moments. Yeah, let's do that. Let's cut this in half. They're pastel. 
stay down. Yeah, this is just more of a craft with me design team project video. Just something fun to do with her papers. Let's see, I'm gonna use this smaller glitter or this art glitter glue for this part. If I try to if I try to put sticky glue on there. A stick glue, I'll mess it up. Precious moments. Okay. There. All right. And for the back, I'm going to go ahead and glue this shut. Okay. Oh, that's cute. thinking if I want to I want to do I think I'll do this paper so that if they want to write and I already have a flip here so maybe that'll work is that tall enough oh. let me see probably not Again, I'm going to do this on the sides because I want to make sure it's distressed. That I did just in case when I cut this, it's too big or it's too small or whatever, because I'm going to bring it in a little bit and cut it. that big a flip on there so I'm gonna trim this down <clears throat> it's still a little bit thick By the way, again, I want to say thank you to all of you. Oh, I'm still a little bit big, aren't I? Let's see. I want to say thank you to all of you who have purchased the new kits. Um, I so appreciate your generosity and your support. You know, I do this on these channels, and 
this is really how I, this and creating kits and journals and stuff is how I make my living. And um, everything that you, everything you purchase from me, that money goes toward our living. It's just like a paycheck for me. And so I'm very grateful for every single supporter that I have. You guys mean the world to me. I, I do it whether you would buy anything or not. You guys purchasing stuff from me just... Oh, it did. Look, it was right on there. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It was literally <laughs> the perfect size. For that is kind of bizarre. <laughs> Not even a little bit off. But um, I just wanted to say thank you again. I'm cutting this down just a tiny bit so I can make that look a little straighter because my words were off. I guess maybe it was my envelope because it is looking straight now. Um, yeah, so thank you guys. All of it is going into the savings for our new home, the deposit on our new home. Which is just, you know, we can afford to get a new home. We've been approved for the loan, praise God. It's more the deposit is where we're going to, you know, have a little bit of struggle. Um coming up with the cash so every single cent is going into that <laughs> everything extra yeah so isn't that cute look at it oh, I love it so now we're going to put this piece on the back um, I'm going to wait and distress it after I get um, I can see where this is a little bit off I'm going to distress it after I get it on there it'll be easier because it'll have some it'll have some you know support now, to decide which glue I want to use, because I'll go ahead and use this one here. Um, it's easier and it doesn't dry as fast, you know? So this will give them a cute place uh, to journal on the back of here, because that lace paper can definitely be used for journaling space. Okay, wait, I'm going to make sure I get it straight. And upright the right way. I might need a little more glue. My glue's kind of not. I'd rather have a little bit too much than not enough. So. so bad about getting it at the edges. I shake so much that it's hard for me. Okay. Here we go. What time is it? Okay. So these are a little bit time consuming with all the, you know, with the decorating and the, the whole process. But if you have tons of envelopes like me, it's a great way to use them and create some pockets for your journals. Um, this is definitely going to need trimmed a little bit. <clears throat> Oh, isn't that pretty paper? Look at that lace. I love it. Okay. All right. Where did I see it needing trimmed? Was it, does it? I guess it doesn't. I guess it's just right to the edge. That's good. This top piece needs it a little bit, but that's okay. And I'll go ahead and distress, and this one will be ready to put a card in. And I'm thinking, actually, um, I might use, I think I have cards that I've already got ready and they are out of my kit, so that would be an honor to have some of my stuff in with Tina's here on this one. Because this kit, I didn't have any, um, uh, I didn't get any, there's no fussy cuts and journal cards, it's background sheets. 
And so, <clears throat> for Tina's. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the glue in that way. So that'll show. So I'll go ahead and distress this edge so it matches. Got to have it match. Okay. There we go. And then I have some printed. Let me see here. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. Okay, so these are from my new kit. And I was thinking as I was doing it that these, one of these might look, oh, there we go. That one would look nice in there, I think. And I think it'll fit. I'm pretty sure. Oop, I'm a little bit glued shut here. There we go. There we go. So I've got a journal card in there. Oh, and look at that peony coming through there. Isn't that pretty? And when they pull that out, you'll see the sweet little eggs and the duck. I wonder, should I do this one? Because it's got yellow, the peony. I think it'll get covered. Let me see. Oh, no, no, you can see it. I think it might look nice. I don't know. Which one? Which one should I put? They're both pretty. This one is an envelope right there on the front of the card. So, yeah, I think I like this one though. I'll leave it. So there is the first one. And like I said, you'll open it and it'll be glued in and it'll be flipped. Like if you're on your page, I'll use my little book. Um, like it'll be glued over the edge like that. Okay, and then there you go. Or it can be glued this way as well. No, that'll make it that way. Nah, not like that. It'll have to be glued like that. Or you can glue it directly to the page you're on and then it'll flip like this. Okay, so there's one. And since these are a little bit time consuming, let me see. What other pieces of paper do I have here that I could do? Um, oh, I like this piece. Look at this one. I started to say since they're time consuming, I might stop, but maybe I'll maybe I'll do one more. I don't know. Can you make it so? If I can get it, cut this in a way that that phrase would show through the window. May love dwell in your heart. Oops. Oh, there we go. Look, may love dwell in your heart. I mean, the heart is kind of cut off. May love dwell in your ear. No. <laughs> And you're here. <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. I think it'll be pretty. I'm just going to cut that top off. And cut it down here. Let's see if I'll have to bring it. I don't even need that whole piece. I just need it to... Okay. I might be able to save the bunny. since it's just to have a backdrop, you know, it's possible. All right. Okay. around the edges gotta be mindful of that kind of stuff yeah. I started to hold that too close to me and you guys couldn't see me fighting with the paper I can't have that there we go may love dwell in your heart all right 
May of. I didn't get it over with. <laughs> oh well, you know what? It's it's good enough. It's going to have to be good enough. It's, I put it to, well, it's just a pretty little picture. It's okay. We're not going to worry about it, right guys? Tell me not to worry about it. <laughs> okay. I liked the um, the diamonds shapes on this paper. That's why, and the blue, I grabbed it. Told you I've been in a mood for blue lately. It's, I'm work. I'm going to get started after this video, actually. I'm going to get started on my next, my third set for the soft florals. And it's going to be in purple, which one of you actually requested. I know that Vanessa would request it as well if she were out of the hospital. Um, if you see this, Vanessa, I'm thinking of you. We're all praying for you, honey. She, if, according to her husband, she probably has her phone back by now and can actually watch the videos, I hope. So, just in case, if she can, we are right there with you, honey, in prayer. Amen. We're in, with you in spirit, and we love you. Misty, I know you're probably home by now, honey, if you're listening. I love you. We all love you. We're all praying for you. We have a, a wonderful group of ladies, prayer warriors here on our, on our family, and praise God. Oh, look, our little bunny will fit right there, I think. Yep, 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 yep. I'm putting him there. He's so cute. Okay. And we'll just cut off the part that we don't need. Oh, don't get stuck, honey. Don't get stuck. I'm going to do a little bit of a gap between the pictures so that you can see a little framework there. A little bit crooked, but that's okay. You know what? Since this is going to get covered, actually, I think I'll go ahead and just fold this over and have a nice, even seal. So... Get a new page going here. I'm getting stuck too much. There we go. I'll just do this and fold that over like that. And then I'll go ahead, now that I have that inside, I can go ahead and seal this part. Um, hopefully, I didn't get that too low. I don't want it to get stuck on the back side of this. There we go. All right. All right. Now, make sure my envelope's opening because that glue could easily yeah, it's okay. yeah, it's a little bit on there on the inside. That's what I was worried about. I brought it too low. Okay, there we go so far. So good. We're going to trim this edge here. Not bad. Not bad at all. See a tiny spot right here where there's no glue. Gotta get that. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. All right. It's one of the things I love about these little nozzles. You can poke them in places and get your glue there. There. All right. So now all we need is the edges here. Let's use, I'm going to do it with the, um, the, this part. So how much, it's going to be a little, look at that. That is crooked. I did that one right there, crooked. I'm going to use this other piece. It's the same print, but it's going to give me a little bit of just the plain. I want just the diamonds there. So, I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I can do the same thing I did before, putting this 
on the inside up against there and just drawing my window. Where's, oh, here it is. I think I can, actually. And then I can just cut it out. Did it do an indention for me? It did. I don't know. Can you see it? I can see it. I don't know if you guys can. But it's good enough. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. But it could be a little more perfect if I use these little guys here to go around. to see it. I get in the shadow here and I can't see what I'm doing. I end up shadowing stuff because of my light being up above me and to my right. I'll worry about all the other measurements when I'm done getting this middle part cut out here. Good enough. All right. Now, let's see where I need to. I'll be cutting it off here on this side. So I just need this part. Just right there. Okay. Have a little bit of the framework showing. So all I have to do is cut. Right there. Oh, I should have brought it over a little bit more. Darn it. Darn it! I should have brought it just slightly over more. Because of that gap I've got going right here. Oh, darn, Tara. Well, you know what? Let's see if I can make that happen up here. I don't know. We'll see. I tried. No, not quite. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put like a piece of ribbon right there, like a really skinny. That'll be cute. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll get some glue on this. And then I'll cover that little, that little gap with ribbon. And that'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. I hope so. If not, oh well, I screwed it up. <laughs> Okay, let's get you right on the curve. All right. I have that really skinny, I have a few skinny ribbons. Um, I'm trying to think which one I could use. Aw, they're so sweet. These pictures are so sweet. We do need a little bit of distress here. I don't think it's really gonna be mattering much. Once we get the ribbon down, it'll be fine. So let me see, I have this gold. I could use this really skinny gold, which I think would look really pretty, actually. This one. Down the center there. Yeah. There you go. That's the one we're using. <laughs> It'll be fun. It'll be pretty. So, you can always use laces and ribbons to kind of cover up your mistakes. And you can always distress 
all those fun little things that we do that make mistakes just disappear. <laughs> I'm going to trim it afterwards. I'll just cut me a piece right now so I can hold it. This ribbon on a, it's always got a little bit of a curve. I got to pull on it a little bit because it's on that, the being on that, uh, what do you call this? The spool. And it always kind of picks up a curve, however they put it on there. I don't know why, but it does. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just run this over the edge. So I don't have to cut it and have it running because it's going to get covered back here anyway. There we go. Aww, that's so cute. We just got to distress it. Our little vintage rabbit. Velveteen rabbit. Have you guys read that book? Everybody's. Pretty much everybody's read that book, I'm sure. It used to be one of the hardest books to get a hold of in my my children's school library when I worked at the library. That was a book that was always out. <clears throat> Back then, kids loved it. Okay. And this rabbit on here reminds me of that. There we go. I wish, you know what, I'm going to take some of um, Tina's paper, and I think, what time is it? We're good. And I'm going to cover the back again. And this time, I'm going to use this again. I'm just going to cut off, let's see, let's do a, let's do my, my hinge first. And then we'll do, and since I wrap this over, I think I might go ahead and kind of bring it in just slightly on my hinge so that got a little frame there. So I'm not so worried about how I measure, you know, this side because I'm definitely going to uh, distress again. So like I always say, it doesn't have to be right to that edge. Put that straight and then it'll be pretty close. bunny on there. So I may trim off the top and the bottom. Or do I want to give them some space to write at the top or at the bottom? Either way. Nah, I want that on there. They can write around it if they want to write on there. When I say they, I'm just talking about whoever I either give it to, or if I put it into a journal, whoever gets that journal. Okay. All right. So what do you guys have planned for Easter for all of you? I am teaching the kids that day. Our our pastor over the children's ministry, she's like, all hands on deck this time. <laughs> so we've gotten a bunch of volunteers, though. It's really great. Um, we were really struggling with, you know, she was really struggling with people coming. And, and now she's got a whole slew of new volunteers. Praise the Lord. So that's really helped her out a lot. Are you guys doing Easter at church or do you do you do anything with your families? 
What's your plans? I'm going to put this one at the end there. You know what? I'll probably just, yeah, I'm just going to glue it and then trim it. Grab my glue. And I'm going to do it on here again because it's just more stable for me to, I'm so shaky that it's easier for me to use this piece than the paper itself. Not doing too, too bad with my line. And then my favorite part when I get to do my X. <laughs> A lot of glue, but I just really want it to stay down. All right. Well, since I did this, I will go ahead and utilize this. I probably. Oh yeah, I framed this, so technically I didn't need the glue to come all the way to the edges, did I? Duh. Oh well. You know, Tara. And I've been looking at homes, you guys. And I'm just praying to stay patient and wait upon the Lord, like I always talk to you guys about in our devotions, and to trust His will and not our own. That it, You know, whatever home He chooses for us is going to be better than we could choose for ourselves anyway, because He knows the ins and outs of those homes and what's wrong with them and what's good on them and all that. You know, sometimes you get... To look in and you're just falling in love with you know all these different places and you never know what's really going on with them you know what I'm saying <laughs> you can make a mistake you can make mistakes so I've been doing a lot of house shopping online and then my realtor Miss Jenny is sending me stuff on about the homes that they have available and about the homes you know that are available in the in the town the city of Casa Grande I call it Casa Grande because that's just what all of us say, always said in Arizona. I mean, we just, most of us here, at least in, in, in where I grew up, we called it Casa Grande. It is actually Casa Grande. So, <laughs> Casa Grande, the great house. Get this one done. And will be finished. I didn't have time for 3C. It was good that I didn't keep cutting envelopes because I wouldn't have had time to finish them anyway. I only got two of the three I did. But it's, you know, you got to take time to decorate and make it look good, right? Now this one on the journal card, what I was saying earlier, and I, well, I didn't, I cut myself off and didn't finish. I was going to say is that I could take this paper and I wish I hadn't gotten glue all over that. I kind of messed it up. Um, I could take this paper and get make a journal card off of it with my cardstock. So I think I might do that on this one. Good enough. All right. So there's the back. Little cute bunny. And the front. And then I think I'll take, let's see, what piece do I want to use now? Um, oh, look at that. That's almost perfect for, it is perfect for a journal card. Let's do that piece. So we'll cut this out. And I'm even going to, now I can't do that because It'll be too big to go inside the envelope. I was going to cut it so that the flower shows, but I'll keep it in the frame here. And then I'll just make sure it's trimmed up after I glue it down. Um, I 
Ugh. My glue's not coming out. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting blobs of glue here. I mean, at first it wasn't coming out, and then it started coming out, and it was too much. I brought along some of my cardstock so I could possibly do this. little baby out. We're gonna I go round off its corners. Other than a little bit of distressing and round, where's my, uh, I'm always misplacing my punch. Look at that. Nope, where did I put it? Okay, I don't see my punch. Oh, where are you? I was going to round my corners on this. That is so weird. It's always like right over here in the corner there, and now I can't find it. Oh, well, I guess we're not rounding off the corners. Not this time. Shoot. I like them rounded. Oh, wait. You know what? I've got my other one here. Where'd you go, baby? <laughs> yes, I do talk to my inanimate objects, my tools. Okay, I just... This is weird, because I know I stuck it up here on the shelf the other day. Okay. I know where nothing is. Nothing. <laughs> oh, well. We're not rounding the corners on this one. We're just going to go ahead and distress. Oh, wait. Here it is. Duh. See, I move things, and then I'm in trouble. I'm going to use this one. My, my dear Mary gave us gave me. Let's see, which one do I want? I'll do this one. Oh, no, wait. I need to do the other side. I think it'll be bigger. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. I'm so used to using my little square one. Sometimes I forget that I have that one, and I'm sorry, Mary, because it's so nice. Since we have gold on this one, guess what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to add some gold tempera paint around the edges. That'll be pretty on here, right? All paper is pretty with that on it. <laughs> Just to make it a little more exciting. Little gilded edge. There we go. Okay. 
And we'll do this back side a little bit. Why not? And we'll let that dry while we do this, this envelope pocket. So I hope you guys liked these and that you give them a try. I see a little bit that needs trimmed right here. Just a tiny bit right here. I hope you give them a try that they inspired you to use up your envelopes. I'm always trying to find ways to use my envelopes. I have so many I've saved over the course of the last, oh my goodness, almost three years now I've been junk journaling, which is crazy how fast time has gone. It's crazy, right? We've all, I've been here on YouTube now for two years as of May. But I didn't start showing crafting videos, Tim, uh, you know, um, what do you call them? I can't think of the word. Anyway, I didn't start doing actual crafting on the channel until June, but it'll be three years in June. Here's our little, little journal card that goes inside. There you go. Isn't that pretty? Let's grab our first one. Where'd I put it? Probably stacked stuff on it. Here's our first one. A little more collage -y. And then this one is more of a full picture. There's the back side. So cute. And our card. I just love that. That is so sweet. And then this one. Back side. And our card. And then the inside there with your picture. So pretty. And there we go. So we've got our flip envelope pockets. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you give it a try. I'm sure you will because you've probably all got envelopes. And these are easy. I love you guys. <laughs> and thank you for crafting with me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. Well, no, I'll see you again on Friday. Scratch that. Have a wonderful remainder of your week. And I will see you on Friday. I love you. Bye.